Uh, my name is Rohan Murphy from Long Island, New York. I went to Jay Robinson's 28 Day Wrestling Camp in 99 and 2000. And right now I'm a youth motivational speaker. I go to middle schools and high schools and some colleges across the country to tell my story. Well, I was born with deformed legs. Um, when I was born, my kneecaps were actually on the opposite side, so my legs were backwards. And at the age of four, my parents and doctors decided that it'd be best if I had my legs amputated in hopes of someday, maybe around middle school, high school, to get prosthetic legs and walk with prosthetics. I think for me, my moment in life when I would really just change as a person and start to really accept being different and being disabled is probably in the sport of wrestling because when I went out there to compete, I was like everyone else. I was like everyone else. I mean, either I was going to win or I was going to lose, and I wanted to win. Uh, the J. Robinson camp didn't just help me become a better wrestler, it helped me become a better person because when I was at that camp, obviously I had great counselors that were really knowledgeable about the sport of wrestling and they helped me become a better wrestler, but when it comes to life, you know, just being able to go to that camp by myself and really just being able to live on my own on a college campus and having to get around by myself and take care of myself, get my own food in the dorms and having to do my own laundry, for me that was huge. It really gave me a lot of confidence about how I could succeed in life. Whenever I speak at schools, I always speak about the camp, always, and I always tell them about this one workout that I will never forget. You know, usually um, every morning we wake up 6 o'clock uh, bright and early and we'd have running practice and usually I will just do laps around the track in my wheelchair. But this one morning, my camp counselor wanted me to do something a little bit more challenging. My camp counselor happened to be this guy by the name of Brock Lesnar. So Brock Lesnar brought me out um, inside the middle of the track where there was a football field. He brought me down in one end zone. He said, bro, hop out of your wheelchair which I did for him, and then he looks at me and tells me, alright bro, I want you to somehow for me, walk down to that end zone in the handstand, 100 yards, 100 yards, once you get down to that first end zone, do about a pyramid of 10 push-ups, a pyramid of 10 push-ups, so not just 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, then after all those push-ups, come back down to this first end zone again, in the handstand. I think this camp the Jay Robinson camp is very impactful for kids, for I guess every generation is because it really just gives them a different perspective on life. I mean, at the end of the day, your perspective, that's what it's all about, right? I mean, are you going to be a kind and loving person or are you going to be a mean and hateful person? Are you going to be optimistic or pessimistic? And I think the Jay Robinson camp gives kids a different perspective and it shows them that if you really want to be successful in life, it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of discipline. And for those kids who attend this camp, and to really learn those skills for the first time in their lives, it's gonna help them become a better person over time.